Come ride with me It's time to saddle up right away There's so much to see Don't worry, I know the trails, I know the way Hello, this is Daniel Dolphin with Dolphin Horsemanship again. We're here to show you today our way of properly tying a horse up. Um, a few rules that I have about tying horses up. One, I always do want to use a quick release knot. Horses inevitably set back. I spent most of my career starting colts and things. We have horses set back all the time. Not the end of the world, just be prepared for it. You want them tied in a good safe place to the side of a trailer. Not really the ideal thing, but it's where the light's working for us to shoot the video today. Uh, secondly, you always want to tie a horse high. The general rule of thumb is above their withers. That way if and when they pull back they're a lot less likely to injure their necks or something like that. You always, always, always tie to something solid. So you wouldn't want to tie to something like a gate or a panel where if the horse pulled back that object could move and possibly come with them and oh my goodness the wreck you were fixing to have if that happened. As with any setup for any knot we're going to have a running and a standing in. The standing in is going to be the portion that would be tied to your horse and by the way it turns out technically it's a lot harder to show how to tie a horse up with an actual horse in the video. They keep moving their head. It's a real pain. Have the halter. This is going to be what we will refer to as the standing in of the rope. So as you lead your horse up to your safe place to tie what I would recommend you do is go over the bar and I like to wrap around twice with my running in. And I'm generally going to give my horse 18 inches to 2 feet of slack. Really I don't want any more than that. Uh, you don't want to give the horse, as they say, just enough rope to hang themselves. They could sit back and get a front leg over. They could put their head down and get this over the top of their ears. Lots of bad things happen when we give them lots of slack. So you want them tied fairly short. Once I have it wrapped around and I do that because if and when they ever pull back it's more likely to get tight here than in your knot and you can again easily get your knot untied. I simply split my two fingers and roll the rope so that I form a loop. Now there's two ways that you could do that. The way we need it done is so that our running in is underneath. You can see it is underneath both of these ropes on the back side right there. Okay, so you form the loop so it's underneath, and then you just push pass a loop through that, and we've got a quick release knot. Uh, and I would generally just take my tail, pass it through that loop, and now a horse would stand tied all day long with that with no problem. Um, if I need to get the horse loose for whatever reason, all I have to do is grab my tail and pull, and now they could they could slide away. So I'll do that in, in real time for you. We've wrapped around. Done. Just takes a few seconds. Uh, there are other ways and, and ways that work just fine to tie a horse up. This is the one I've been using as far as how quickly and easily I can tie it. It works very well for me. So hope that helps. Y'all have a good day. For real, is this traffic something? <laughs> Two more. Hello, this is Daniel Dolphin with Dolphin Horsemanship. <laughs> Hello, this is Daniel Dolphin with Dolphin Horsemanship. We're here today to show you our way. I'm here to show you how to tie a horse up. No. It's like everybody in the world is driving by here when we're trying to shoot this video. Okay. Hi, we're friends. <laughs> we're here 
friends? Yes. You're not my son? No, we're... We're just friends? No. We're sons. Yeah. We're sons? Yeah. How about I'm the dad and you're the son? Yeah. I'm... I'm... He's the son and I'm the dad. What? <laughs> Sons and friends, okay. Hi, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was funny. That was yeah. funny.